Okay, now let's talk about managing or monitoring system resource usage. And we're going to look at three things. We're going to look at, and we're going to do this over a series of videos. We're not even going to try to do this all in one video. But we want to look at managing our, or monitoring and managing our three most important system resources, which is disk space, memory, and process. And I know some people would argue network is equally as important. And yeah, I, I can get that argument. But we're going to focus on these three since these are the three that I most often see people run into problems with. Okay. Now, I want to start with managing disk space usage, and that's what we're going to focus on in this video, or monitoring disk space usage. So we'll, we'll always start with the command DF. DF is, it stands for, think of it as disk free. So this will show us our file system, our number of 1K blocks, how much is used, that used space is in bytes, so is the available. And then it gives us a percent used and the mounted on. Now, as you go down through here, you're going to see a bunch of loopback things that say they're 100% used. Okay, don't worry about that too much. The loopbacks, we're not going to worry about. What we want to look at is things like this one right here. And over here on mounted on, see that third one down, that's the forward slash, that's our root file system. And so that we really want to watch. Also notice we've got dev SDA2, that's our boot file system. That one's 34% free. This one right here, our root file system is 13% free. All right, that's helpful. But another way to look at it is df-h, which puts this in human readable form. And so I see this as way more useful because now I'm looking at these numbers in terms of gigabytes and megabytes. So now on this one, dev mapper Ubuntu VG, this is our um, volume group. For this one, I've got a 62 gig volume. I'm using 7.3 and I've got 52 gigs free. Now the 13% used is very helpful for me, but knowing the exact amount of disk space I have free is maybe even a little bit more so. Because if I'm looking at installing something or putting something else on the system, I wanna know how much available space I have for it. So this becomes very, very useful. Now. Uh, one other thing we got to be aware of, there are two limitations here on the disk. One is actual size, right? The amount of data we can actually store. But there's another way we can run into problems sometimes. And that is you can we can run out of inodes. Now, we talked about inodes in a previous video when we were talking about links, setting hard and soft links. So I'm not gonna go over all of that again, but you do need to know that there is a limit to the number of inodes that can be on a system, so you are on a specific drive. So you may, this would be very rare, but it does happen. If you have a ton of files, it is possible to run out of inodes before you run out of space. And if you do that, what will happen is the disk will report when you try to do something, the disk is going to report that there's no space on it. So you come in here and you run DF and you say, wait a minute, I should have tons of disk space left, but why can't I write any files? Why does it keep telling me I'm running out of disk space? So do a DF-I, not T-I, and this is going to give you here, I'm going to clear the screen and make this a little bit easier df dash i and that's going to give me my number of inodes so again here we have inodes how total inodes how many are used how many are free and how many are in use and you'll notice on my dev mapper here dev mapper ubuntu vg my volume group i'm using four percent of my available inodes 13 percent of my available space which means at this rate i'm going to run out of space before i run out of inodes but if you're storing a bunch of really tiny files, this is just something to be aware of. Like I said, it doesn't happen a lot, but be aware of it because it does happen occasionally. Okay, let's say that we are running out of disk space and we want to figure out why. So we have a little tool we can use to try to track this down. And this is DU, which is disk usage. Now, just like DF, I can do DU-H and give it to me in human readable format. And this tells me for every file and folder how much space I'm using. Now I am in my personal home folder, so that really doesn't help me a whole lot because I'm not looking at most of my uh, system. 
So what I'm going to do, and there are going to be some things that I need to look at that my regular account doesn't have access to. So I'm going to do sudo su, and then I'm going to change directory to my root. And now I'm going to run du, let me clear my screen here first, du dash h. And that's going to show me a whole bunch of things and how much space is being used. Now, that gave me a whole bunch in a hurry, right? And it's still going, which if I want to look at everything, well, that's one way to look at it, right? But I want to shorten this because, well, quite frankly, I get tired of looking at all of that. So the du gives me disk usage. du-h gives me a human readable. I can also do a summary, and that will summarize things for me a little bit. And another option, and this is going to be a little bit better, and the one you're probably going to want to use is the total amount, which is going to be DUHSC. And that gives me kind of my total. All right. So I'm using a total of nine gigabytes. But notice that only gave me the summary. So I'm going to specify, I can specify which files and folders I want to look at. So I'm going to do DUHSC asterisk. And now we have something a little more reasonable. I'm going to clear the screen here. And let's run that again. So this, all of a sudden, now we have something more that we can work with. Bin has zero. Boot has 302 megabytes. 5.3 megabytes here. If I look down here, here's 1.5 gigabytes in snaps. Uh, 3.9 in my swap file. And 9 gigabytes total. 2.6 gig in my user. Now, all of a sudden, I have something I can work with. My snaps are using 1.5 gigabyte in that snap folder. Hmm, I wonder what's in there. So we're going to do cd snap du-hsc asterisk du-hsc asterisk. There we go. And now I have this broken down by folder. 1.5 gig total. Here's my readme, my snap.d. And all right. So now I can go folder by folder and isolate where my space is being used. Let me go to my home folder and not my personal home folder, but the home folder. And du dash hsc for everything here. And this is going to give me all of my users. And I can see that I have 96K used by me, 20K used by Mem, M, Mem, M Maxwell. There we go. And 4K used by my sales group. All right. So this gives me a good way to go explore that. Now, there is another tool that I find incredibly useful. It's not uh, installed by default. I should have stayed in my... So it's not installed by default, but it's the NCDU tool. So I'm going to do sudo apt update to make sure I'm up to date. And then I'm going to immediately follow that with the sudo apt install. And the uh, program I want is NCDU. So that little dual ampersand says run the first command, then immediately turn around and run the second command. So we're doing our app update. And now we're running our install. And NCDU should be active. So uh, I'm going to, yeah, let me go to root. CD forward slash, and I'm going to sudo NCDU. Now, this is going to scan. And I did this at root, so this is going to take it a minute. It scans everything, and it gives me right here all of my folders and files. And you'll notice it sorts them by, um, by usage. And we've got this neat little bar chart. This is my biggest one. And then everything else is in proportion to that. Now, if I want to explore a little bit deeper, I did this in root, right? So if I want to explore a little bit deeper, I'm going to go into my snaps. So I go there and I hit enter and that takes me to my snaps. And now you're going to see them sorted by uh, size. And so this gives me a great way to go explore where my data is being used at. So I can find 
what's using my space and what I either need to clean up or add more space to or how I need to resolve this hard drive issue. Now, this link up here, and I'm just moving up and down using my arrow keys and then enter on the one that I want to go to. This one's going to take me back up to the previous level. Now, I will tell you or show you there's one issue here. I'm going to go ahead and quit this. So I'm going to hit Q. And it's not an issue, it's just kind of the way the system was designed. I'm going to CD tilde. So I'm going to do this from my home folder, which remember is in home David. So I'm going to do NCDU. And it's going to give me the same thing. But notice up here, my root is in or where I started at was in home David. I can't go farther up. So wherever you start at, you can go down from there to additional files or folders, but you can't go back up. So when you do this, wherever you start from, wherever you run in CDU from, that's where you're exploring at. And that may not be a bad thing, right? You might want to do this and explore usage in the home folder and see who's using things. You might have another folder that you want to explore. Uh, and you don't necessarily want to go to root and take the time to load everything through your entire file system. So that's why it lets you, or it just goes from that folder that you start from and then farther on in, not back out. Okay, to uh, get out, I'm going to hit Q to quit. And there we go. Those are some tools to help you monitor disk space usage in your Ubuntu server.